Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another gardening update. I am so excited to share with you what I have been working on because the weather has been absolutely amazing and we've had just the right amount of rain and the growth since the last video is hopefully it's going to amaze you because it has amazed me and I've been keeping myself busy and I've been balancing it out with um, with not feeling well in between my body has definitely been going through something but I feel like I'm on the other side of it I think I went through a flare-up of my condition and I had to manage it and um, I've had to do all different kinds of things and adjusting different um, minerals and different activities that I was doing along with gardening because I really wanted to keep up with gardening this year I didn't want to just take a break I wanted to try to manage it so I would do gardening in small little bursts and I would manage it with definitely taking a break um, but I'm really excited with my progress and I want to show you I want to share um, so let me let me pick up the camera and we'll go for a little walk all right we'll go for a little walk let's see if I can do this so we'll start here because I think that's where I started last time. Now, I'm still working on this area here, but we have um, my happy garden now in a different phase. Everything's always in a different phase because I, I planted this entire garden so that something is growing all year round. So I always have something beautiful to look at because I noticed in these times that we're in, these times of stress and chaos and turmoil and bad news here and bad news there, we need a place to come to rebalance and recharge and revitalize and relax and restore and nature provides all of those things, including exercise. So here's all the plants. They're all growing really well and I've been doing uh, potting up as I go and these are all the next ones ready to go. And then I've got all my tomatoes that I started uh, way back in February. And I've got my peppers over. Can you see where I'm pointing? My peppers over there. Um, but really, this is just all my extra stuff that's waiting that I use to put in all of the different beds. So over here, we have in front of here, we have some red onion in the front row. And then in the bed, we've got broccoli and turnips and spinach i got beets so i grew from seed and i got um radishes in between so in this bed i have a combination of things that i grew over the winter in my containers that i showed you in the last video and then newly started seeds so i have things coming up at different times but it's it's all growing um together and they shouldn't crowd each other out but i'll i'll thin it out as i need to and then the same thing here with these beds but look at this over here oh my god all these strawberries we are so excited and all the blueberries are coming in real good and here's fennel and i've been harvesting this for medicine and drying it and um i mean everything is just it's been an explosion of of plants like i'm, I'm doing all that i can to keep up with it but i'm still working over in that back corner there but I did get this whole section done so there's the garlic from another video that I made about balancing out your mind body and emotions um, in the garden using nature ecotherapy but here I have a lot of greens and I've been treating these greens can you peek through there and see I have a lot of greens because I'm trying to replace some nutrients um, into our body that I know that we're lacking like iodine and calcium and magnesium and uh, different things that we don't really get in um, in commercial grown food so I'm trying to replace them and I add different things to the soils so everything is just loving it I mean look at my flowers here that's going to be hollyhock that's feverfew that's feverfew too right in the middle there that's a great medicine for migraines and then over here, I'll show you what I planted early. Now, this is my earliest bed that I planted. And uh, this is all lettuce and broccoli and kale and mustard. 
and spinach. It's a combination of everything. So in order to get a head start and fill in where I didn't have ready for the season, plus I also had a greenhouse to go over here. So I was able to get these going early. And I even have little, little broccolis growing in the middle. I don't know if, if this can show you, but because uh, I have the camera on a funny angle. But, um, you know, I have broccoli started already and everything is doing well here. So I was able to really monitor the temperature and cover it if I needed to. So things are thriving here. Um, I'm just, I'm so pleased. Even the peas, I grew these over the winter and then when the timing was right with the temperature, I got those started. And then I just planted a row of marigolds for the front. And then over here, I just put the beans in yesterday the beans that I grew from seed and then in between I actually planted seeds so th these will get started and then I have a tomato where can you see where I'm pointing on enough a uh, tomato there that I'm gonna grow up this trellis that I have and then we just put up that trellis over there and that's gonna get cucumbers and then right here, we're gonna do grapes. So I'll be updating that along the way. So look at this, is this amazing? Like, look, this is what you can do with your backyard. Like, holy cow, I'm just nonstop gardening though. And I try to manage it with my, my mom duties and what my kids need and with, you know, the energy that I have available to me. So, um, but the more that I do this, the more energy I seem to have and I'm able to do. So everything has been working synergistically. So we even have this bed planted and I planted tomatoes early before the, we had last week, a week of frost and I had these tomatoes out and I made a couple of videos, but I didn't post them because I don't know why, I guess I didn't like them. But um, the tomatoes, like I only lost a few tomatoes and I lost a few cucumbers, but I have others to replace them. So I'm not really worried about it, but I was really surprised the tomatoes were fine. They were, some of them were even covered in frost and they bounced right back. So very happy about that because I'm using an additive to the soil that says that it protects the plants from that. And it's, um, it's the kelp bliss and you can get that. Um, I get it at Amazon. So, uh, all right, well, that's, that's it for this video. I hope this finds you well and I hope this inspires you to get out there and throw some seeds in the ground because you will love it. You will love it. I promise. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.